This is the Cybex chest press. So this is going to be focusing on pectoral muscles of your chest as well as the back of the arms. So anything that's involved in pressing something away from you. So when you first step up, you'll want to adjust the seat. There's a knob right here that adjusts it up and down. This one has a gas assist. So what that means, except if I'm down in the lowest position, I have to push it down. All I do is flip the lever and the seat's automatically going to come up. I'm going to adjust it to a specific seat height. There's numbers back here that will tell you where you're at, so you can memorize that for next time. I happen to be a three on this machine. And the way I know that is when I sit down and I have my arms straight out from my shoulder blades, the handles are mid-pectoral, so they're dead center of my chest. If they're too low or too high, I want to adjust the seat accordingly, but I want to have them mid-line through my chest. There's also an adjustment for how far you're pressing, how much flexibility you have in your shoulders, and that's a knob right behind the seat, which allows us to move the seat forward or back. And you want to set that up so that when you sit down, you bring your arms back naturally, it's at your natural stopping point. This is a little bit too far for me. My hands stop in front of the handles. So I'm going to have to adjust this back one notch. And that's going to be proper positioning for me. Go ahead and select a weight. I'm at 50 pounds plus 10 up at the top, the uh, adjustment that we talked about earlier. So 60 pounds. Just have a seat, grab the handles, and the goal is to have a 90 degree bend in your elbow. If my arms are way out or too narrow, I'm gonna put more or less stress on my shoulders. So 90 degrees is typically optimal. And then just go ahead and press out. Again, make sure to breathe through exercise and you wanna be nice and smooth as you're going through the, through the press. So press it all the way to full extension, bring it all the way back. Notice that the weights are not touching. I'm not clanking the weights. That would be bad form where I'm bringing it back, clanking the weights, which is gonna unload my shoulder joint and then reload it, which isn't a good thing. It's also annoying to everybody else in the room, so we try to avoid being annoying. So it's just good gym etiquette.